First things first, Gideon's. Gotta sign up for the virtual queue. It turns out that they don't have a virtual queue right now. I don't know if they don't have it anymore, but they have a regular standing line. It is long, but it doesn't seem to be that bad. So I'm gonna stand in line right now. This is the point where I'm at. So the line, as you can see there, goes all the way to the other corner. This is the current menu for Gideon's. Now, um, Disney Springs is celebrating Flavors of Florida. Is it the name? Yeah, Flavors of Florida. So they are participating. Uh, what that means, in case you don't know, is um, all the restaurants, or I mean, I don't know if all of them, but some of them uh, have a special offering with um, something characteristic of Florida, um, usually something like citric. Anyway, so they have two options, the uh, chocolate chip key lime pie cookie and the key lime pie cake. Um, it, they sound amazing. Uh, the cookie says, our vanilla bean cookie dough infused with Florida key lime juice and covered with chocolate chips and our special key lime pie crumbs. So, ooh, yum, I would love to try that one. And then the cake, those cakes are ginormous. It's three layers. I really don't know how I am going to ship that one. Cookies are easier to ship, but the cake, yeah, I'm still thinking about how I'm gonna do that. The person who requested it wants two slices. That's gonna be interesting. So I talked to someone and this is the deal with the virtual queue. It turns out that they still have the virtual queue, but only as long as the line, the physical line, makes it to longer to an hour and a half so i waited in line for one hour and uh, that means that this is this bag here this is the last gideon's order that i will be fulfilling um i'm sorry about that i know that's disappointing some, to some people that um are always thinking that they want to try gideon's but Honestly, I'm not standing in line an hour or 40 minutes, 30, not even 20 minutes to buy a couple of cookies and I hope you guys can understand that. But now I'm ready to show you um, the options. So this month they are having key lime, key lime cake and key lime cookies. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. This is the cake. It's cold by the way. Um, let me open this. Let's see, let's see. Comes with a fork inside. And that's what that baby looks like. It has some Graham cookies in there, like some like ribbons of Graham cookies. Um, I can see some green pieces from the key lime. I haven't put my nose up close, so I don't even know if it smells good, but I'm going to try it for you guys. And now for the cookie. This is what the key lime pie cookie looks like. I don't know why in my mind I had that it was going to be white chocolate chips. Is that crazy? Isn't like key lime stuff always uh, paired with white chocolate? This is going to be very interesting. Okay, time to taste it. Guys, this thing is melting. It's so hot in here today. Let's see. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh, this is great. I didn't think this was going to be better than last month. Last month was, I think it was salted caramel with macadamia nuts and white chocolate. That one was amazing. But this, oh guys, this one is to die for. I mean, if you like key lime uh, taste, which is, um, I feel like it's just a little bit better than normal uh, lime. Isn't it? I don't know, maybe just me. Um, I love it. I love it. I need to eat more. Oh, why? <laughs> let's pick cake now. And uh, let's see, let's open this guy. Let's see. I mean, I already showed it to you. Uh, where should I start eating? Uh, what part looks better? How do I open this, first of all? Oh, see, this one does have white chocolate here. That's what I was expecting. All right. Oh, I'm going to get something from this corner because it has some of the Graham uh, cookie thingies. So I'm going to eat this part right here. I found Star Wars squeaky toys for dogs. They are $16.99. How cute is this? Look at this guy. Oh, I was trying to make it squeak, but I don't know. Oh, it's down here. It's a regular squeaky. 
I'm Stormtrooper and R2D2, isn't it? Oh, these are cute. This is not a World of Disney or anything like that. It's in this little um, store here. What's the name? What's the name? Let me see. Happy Hound. That's the store where you can find them and it is right across Paddlefish. You know what I just realized? That the other location is cheaper. Cookies are $5 over there and here they are $6 each. I'm at Zara now because I purchased a shirt the other day. Turns out that their fitting rooms are still closed. So I couldn't try it on. I got home, tried it on, and it doesn't work. So I'm going to return it. I was looking for some Disney. Not finding any Disney at this time here. Just so you know, um, if you're looking exclusively for Disney merchandise, then maybe right now is not the best time to come here. Don't waste your time. I found these as I was about to leave and they are only $9.99 so of course I had to show them to you. Look at that beauty. That's so pretty Mickey and Minnie. Mickey loves Minnie. And this other option in red. Now I don't know why those are only $9.90 but this one is $25.90. In my experience this is a typical price for a t-shirt. I was trying to look and see if these are for kids but I don't think they are. Judging by the size i don't think they are my last stop here is at vera bradley because somebody requested something not sure if they still have that style or even that print but i'm willing to go in and look for it processing orders is going fantastic but i noticed something as i was invoicing and you guys might notice it too in your invoices so just wanted to show you this uh these two pens they are each 150 pounds, right? Same price for both. So I was thinking they would both be the exact same price. But I always look at the uh, receipt when I'm invoicing. So I wanted to show you. You see Pluto pen right here, it's $2. And then you look at the stitch one and that one is $2.50. Why? I don't know. But when you see that in your invoice, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you that it's true i'm not making prices up <laughs> same thing happened with these two guys so you can see they both say they are 250 oh wait i just realized the difference this one is pounds and this one is euros that's but wait it doesn't make sense okay anyway this one um i think is 350 and this one is only three dollars go figure then the other thing, now that I have you here, um, lots of you requested or got the chip mug. Now this one is mine that I've had for months. I don't use it that much, but I have used it. And I wanted to show you, do you see the bottom there? Um, it's chipping, like the, uh, the paint, the gold paint is chipping. Can you see that? I wash mine by hand, I'm very gentle, but it still happens. So when you get yours, um, if this is something that bothers you, make sure that you are extra, extra gentle when you wash it. All right, I think that's all I want to say. Oh, no, no, I wanted to say something else. Let me see if I can show you, if I can get close to it. You see those like crack marks? Um, apparently that's normal for them. I did look at all of them when I picked them out just to uh, make sure that I could get the ones with the least amount of those cracks. Um, I'm not, I don't do pottery, so I'm not really sure how, uh, what that is or how to explain it. But, um, I mean, it is still usable. It's, it is still in perfect condition. But just so you know, yours uh, might have one or two of those lines. Well guys, it's time for the giveaway. Um, I have all my papers here that I gathered from the comments section. Um, if you've never participated before in one of my giveaways, I do it the old fashioned way. I started doing it like that because I didn't know how else to do it and then I kept doing it like that because I like it. <laughs> I, I think there's something just special um, when I write down your names and um, I do it like this instead of using an app you get to see it I I don't know I just I just like it so I'm going to be using a Disney bowl obviously 
and uh, cross your fingers that the goof helps me choose wisely so I'm just gonna fold them oh um, I have divided them because this section here is um, in the US uh, people who live in the US I'm assuming that everyone here lives in the US I'm, I recognize some of the names so I know that some of them do live in the US but other people I'm not familiar with and they didn't leave um, in the comment their location so I'm just going to assume that all these people live in the US if the winner ends up being someone who does not live in the US then I am sorry I will um, draw another winner for for the um, giveaway part that is meant for US only and here is the section for my international viewers so what I'm gonna do first is uh, fold these and put them here and draw a winner for the bag, the uh, socks, the uh, stitch, charm, the, you know, like all those things. And then after that, uh, we will include the international ones and draw a winner of the gift card. So let's start. <laughs> first giveaway and how should I do this I think you can see it there so I'm just gonna give it a mix and then just choose someone come on oh wait let's just grab one lucky winner here it is let's see who will it be let's open this guy it's Jessica let's see is it focusing? Is it focusing? Oh my goodness. Is it focusing? Hopefully it is focusing there. Um, I don't think it is. Come on, Lens. You can do this. Okay, I think from where I'm standing, I think that you can see the name. So congratulations, Jessica. I will be sending you the bag and all the goodies. Uh, hopefully this week. Yep. So now I'm going to put this name aside and I am going to include the international uh, viewers here. Um, yeah, for the other giveaway for the gift card. <laughs> Time for giveaway number two. Let's just get a winner for the gift card. Let's give it a mix. Uh-huh, I wanna be fair. Give it a good mix. Who will it be? Who will it be? Oh, they won't jump. No, it did not. Okay, I thought. All right, let's get one. Let's get one. Got one. Let's get this out of the way. And let's open this. <gasps> Becerra 2004! Oh, is it focusing? Oh my goodness. How unprofessional of my camera. The battery decided to die just when I was announcing the winner. Um, I think I was able to say it right before my camera died. But just in case, here it is. Becerra 2004. So I do have your information. You don't have to email me. I will be sending you. The, uh, the gift card information, congratulations! Uh, Jessica, I'm not really sure if I have your information, so please email me. I will look for it, but I don't think that I have your address, so um, just email me, please. Send me an email. Um, you can find my email address in the description box. I'm um, also going to put it here somewhere. On the, um, on the screen just in case you don't have access to the description box if you're watching this video on a smart TV you don't have access to that but please send me an email with your shipping address so I can 
uh, get your goodies to you ASAP. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I'm very excited for you. Uh, thank you very much to everyone who participated. I am eternally grateful for your support and more giveaways will be coming our way. Uh, for now, that's it for this video. But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you two are very happy and the rest of you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!